fashion through the ages, a history of style and elegance. Welcome to our fashion and style channel, where we will explore the fascinating world of fashion. Today we will dive into the history of fashion, from its humble beginnings to becoming a global cultural and artistic force. Fashion has been a form of expression since ancient times. From ancient civilizations, such as Egypt and Rome, to the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, clothing has played a crucial role in identity and social status. Fashion in Egypt, luxury and comfort. Flowing or tube dresses, skirts, tunics. For 3,000 years, fashion in ancient Egypt, both for men and women, changed until it reached an elegance unusual during the New Kingdom. The paintings of the tombs and the bar-reliefs of the temples are an excellent source of information to know the evolution of Egyptian clothing. In them it is verified that the lightness of the dresses was almost obligatory. Egypt is a warm country. Transparencies and nudity lacked the erotic connotations to which we Westerners associate them. In fact, until the Macedonian conquest, the textile fiber used in the Nile Valley was flax. Its cultivation and manufacture was almost always a state monopoly and was maintained in different qualities. The supreme one, due to its transparency and delicate weave, was the royal linen with which, as its name indicates, kings and nobles dressed. The dresses, like their jewelry accessories, were clear exponents of the social category of the wearer. Also, by way of uniform, they differentiated positions, professions, and trades. Viziers, for example, wore loose-fitting white robes that fell from chest height to mid-calf. Narrow suspenders, perhaps metallic due to their strange curvature, held up this peculiar garment. The soldier's attire allowed them to be easily recognized by a large triangle superimposed on the front part of their skirt. Women's dresses from the Old and Middle Kingdom are easily recognizable. Simple in cut, they consisted of a single garment made and held by two wide straps that, covering the chest, almost reached the ankles. Men, especially peasants and workers, wore a simple skirt above the knees, the shenti, which was the quintessential male garment throughout the pharaonic period. Made with a piece of linen, it was crossed and tied at the waist or tied with a belt. There are feminine garments that can seem even more daring. At the funeral banquets in Theban tombs, the ladies of high society were a dress that, held on by a single strap, leaves one chest exposed. The young servants who serve them are completely naked wearing only a narrow belt. During the Renaissance, fashion underwent a revolutionary transformation. Garments became more elaborate, with luxurious fabrics, intricate embroidery, and fitted bodices. Fashion became a symbol of wealth and power. The sleeves and skirts were worn wider with dense, luxurious and soft fabrics such as velvet and brocade. Women's clothing was worn in layers which consisted of a long-sleeved white linen undershirt, over it a high-waisted dress of contrasting color. The materials for the clothing were damask, silk satin, brocade and velvet, all from Italy. With the advent of the Industrial Revolution, fashion began to be democratized. Mass production made clothing affordable for the working class. New styles appeared, such as the suit jacket for men and crinoline dresses for women. The fashion structure is modified and production increases, competition in the cotton trade, which resulted in price reductions, machinery specializes and causes the clothing industry to increase in considerable proportions. The 20th century brought with it an explosion of styles and movements in fashion. From the daring 20s with its flapper women, 
to the elegance of the 50s and the rise of youth fashion in the 60s. Fashion became a form of rebellion and self-expression. At the beginning of the century, the corset was still present among women's clothing, because it shaped the silhouette making it look like an S. The main objective was to achieve the flared shape of the dress, for which it was necessary to narrow the waist as much as possible. But it was in 1914 when the bra was patented, which replaced the uncomfortable corset. Charles Worth kicked off fashion as we know it today, when he promoted the dress at the turn of the ballet code. In this period, there was a great economic and cultural transformation that influenced European society, from the agrace even the proletariat. However, it was a time characterized by elegance, refinement and optimism, and which had later been nullified by bourgeois academicism. In the 50s, stiletto heels and push-up bras, girdles and corsets that contributed to accentuate the bust and the tapered waist were imposed. These garments were worn in order to highlight a guitar-shaped silhouette that some women like Marilyn Monroe already possessed naturally. The 1960s were accompanied by youth revolts driven by the ideal of peace, as a result of the war that was taking place in Vietnam. This decade stands out for going against the fashion that capitalism led. Fashion was quite simple within the youth world. The hippie style gained importance, without forgetting that it was that of the miniskirts. Young women of this time came up with the idea of showing off their legs to show their elegance. Hippie fashion consisted of handmade clothing, flared pants, platform shoes, long hair or afro. Boots and floral prints or bright colors became the hallmark of this era, as well as the appearance of the bikini that scandalized the most conservative. André Correges created the miniskirt and Marie Quant brought it into the world of fashion, where it was accepted as the normal style of the 20th century. Pierre Cardin exhibited his designs for futuristic dresses with geometric shapes. The fashion of the 90s was based on variety and not on a specific and lasting trend. They began to wear loose clothing. This style was known to many as the casual. Today, fashion continues to constantly evolve. The designers are considered artists and their creations are exhibited on world-renowned catwalks. Iconic brands set the trends that influence the way we dress and present ourselves to the world. Times change, people change and fashion is one of the ways of reflecting these changes, adapting to them in order to live and cope better. Current fashion tries to break schemes, stigmatizations, conventions by supplying the need to be free, more real. Fashion is not only about clothes, but also about identity, creativity, and empowerment. It allows us to express our personality and tell our story to the world. Fashion pursues the goal of empowering people to express their identity through clothing, regardless of their gender and brands can give a voice to address all these controversial issues in recent times. I hope you liked this video, that we learned a little more about fashion and its history. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to our channel, and tell me. What would you like us to talk about in our next video? Visit our social networks, and I invite you to visit our stores in Printify, and Shopify, where you will find exclusive designs tailored to you. Greetings Fashion RS.